Hello everyone and welcome to a review video that has been a very, very, very long time coming. I'm so sorry that it has taken me this long to get to reviewing this palette. I just, you know, have been trying to get swatches put together, tutorial type looks put together for my mini tutorials at the end of this video that I like to do with my palette reviews. It's taken me a while, so I apologize. But the time has finally come. We have got the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette. I originally purchased this because loads of you guys wanted me to review it for you. So that's what I'm here for. So I purchased it and here I am. I finally have my thoughts and everything all put together for you. This is a beautiful $45 palette. It really is. I love the packaging of this. I mean, it's just plastic, but it's gold on the back side and everything on the sides. And then on the front, it's just this beautiful purple and pink petal type design. And then on the inside, wee! It's got a huge big mirror. Say hello to yourselves there. Hi! This is as far back as it bends. So if you do like to have this like sitting out on a table, it's nice that it stands up on its own and you can do it at different kind of adjustments there and then it has got 12 eyeshadows inside. It really does have a beautiful array of colors here. It's a very kind of warm pink toned palette in the sense that it's got like these burgundies and mauve colors in it and also like straight up pink but it's also got your nice neutral browns and creamy colors so what they were going for with this as far as I know or as far as I can tell is that they wanted a nice neutral palette that still has a pop to it. It's blooming, it's in bloom, it's fresh, it's beautiful. And then three of the shades are like shimmery, lustery type shades, and then the other nine are matte shades. And honestly, the quality of these shadows is really, it's beautiful. They are probably some of the most blendable shadows I've ever used. They really do just like melt into the eye and however you're wanting to blend them, they just do it really perfectly. It smells delightful. Think the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette with a bit more of a vanilla scent to it. And the shadows just overall, they're lovely. The two dark brown shadows on the side here, they are a bit less buttery than the rest of them, but they're still really pigmented. They blend beautifully on the lids and everything. They're great for deepening up the look and whatnot if you want to go smokier. Firecracker is a bit patchier of a shade. I mean, if you're looking for an intense, like, gold payoff or something, it's not gonna, I mean, it could happen if you build it up a lot, but you're gonna have to build it up. I personally like it for what it is. You know, it's a good sheer kind of wash of sparkle on the lids. I shouldn't really be pointing in my eyes. I did not use this on my eyes today. I'm so sorry. When I first talked about this palette in A Best and Worst of Beauty, I was pretty hard on it. I was. I talked about how much I love it and like the shadows are great, but I was hard on it and talked about, you know, how I, I just have a million palettes like this. Well, since I've stopped using this and have like moved on to other palettes so that I can test those and review those for you guys, I miss it. I miss this palette a lot. I really, really love it. I think it's one of those palettes and like just things in life where it's like you didn't know what you had until it's gone type of a thing. There are so many palettes where I'm like, ah, oh, if only this palette had XYZ color from the Tarlet and Bloom palette. I just need that one shade to like do under my brow or put in the crease or blend something out or make it smokier. This has everything. And like so many other palettes, it's like, oh, there's all these colors, but like, I'm just missing that one shade. I never have that problem with this palette. This has everything that I need. It's got my inner corner highlights. If I need some sort of a shimmery wash over the lid, it's got that. It's got deep colors to deepen things up. It's got my crease shades, my transition shades, my everything shades. I really do like palette you guys. I think it's one of those ones that is like deceptively unremarkable but when you get down to it I just I really really like it. Like I said it's the quality of the shadows, the color selection. You can't come up with like tons of different looks with this but I feel like you can come up with enough you know you're not just gonna get one look out of this palette you could probably get at least like 10 that's pretty dang good. They're not gonna look too terribly different from each other but like 
it's still pretty good. My biggest complaint is that these shadows, while they are really beautiful and I really do like the texture and the blendability of them, they're very, very, not crumbly, but there's a lot of kickback. Like when you put your brush in there, even slightly, it's just like powder galore. You can see I caught it on camera from when I was doing my swatches and everything. Oh my gosh. And granted, you can just like blow it away and then no problems, but you really, really have to tap off your brush. You know, you go from your palette to your eye, you go to the palette, you tap like crazy, and then you go to your eye. Otherwise, it is just fallout city underneath your eyes, which is upsetting. But so long as you remember to tap off your brush, you're totally fine. It's annoying, but I think because these are so blendable and delightful to work with, I get over it real darn quick. I feel like this is made more for like fair skin to medium skin. I don't know. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Any lovely deep colored people out there, if you have and use and enjoy this palette, I would love to know if it does work for deep skin tones, but I do know that for my fair skin slash light skin, it works wonderfully. It really is beautiful. If you have green eyes like I do, especially these kind of colors are just gonna make them go kapow. But I mean, even if you have brown eyes, blue eyes, whatever color, this is it's gonna look pretty darn good. I think the packaging is really nice and sturdy. You don't have to worry about it coming loose or anything. That's just because I used my nail, but it's not gonna go anywhere. I haven't had any problems with the packaging. I think it is beautiful. And I just, I really love this palette. There have been so many times where I like, cause I rotate my eyeshadow palette so that I can make sure I use everything. And there have been so many times where I go to do my rotation and I'm like, okay, time to put this away. And I'm like, but I can't. So yeah, I really have grown to love, like, love this palette. I really, I just, I do. I would highly recommend it to people, but definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you love, hate this palette, whatever the case may be. I hope my review was helpful for you, short and sweet as it may or may not be. I'm gonna move on into the swatches and eye tutorials here, and then I will see you guys in just a little bit once those are all done. So, I'll see you all very soon. Bye! Busy, busy.
So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the swatches of these things and then also seeing some eye looks that I personally, like they're kind of my go-tos when it comes to this palette. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created those looks and just hope you enjoyed this review overall. If you did find it enjoyable or helpful, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!